7.5 is on exploring angle pairs. So you're gonna have to know what different types of pairs of angles are called. The first one that we're gonna talk about is something called adjacent angles. They share a side. They are next to each other. Adjacent angles share a side. If you want to think about the word adjacent, I think about the person you're sitting next to. Each and every single one of you in my class is adjacent to another desk. Each and every single one of you have a desk that is touching your desk probably, right? You're adjacent to somebody. There's a space between my rows and columns. You're not adjacent to those ones with spaces. You are adjacent with the one whose desk is next to yours. That's what adjacent means. If I was to draw a picture, this is what the picture of an adjacent angle is. I'm gonna draw kind of a small picture. Here's this one, here's this one, here's this one. This is angle one, this is angle two. Angle one is adjacent to angle two. Shh, Jordan. Adjacent angles are next to each other and they share a side. If there's a space in between them, they're not adjacent. Adjacent means next to each other. Uh, I'm gonna underline that because that's one of our words we're gonna define. The next word uh, that we're gonna define is called a linear pair. They are adjacent angles. This is my abbreviation for angles. Adjacent angles that form a straight line. I'll give you an example. <coughs> Three and four. Angle three and angle four are a linear pair. Why are they a linear pair? Because they're next to each other, they share a side, and if you put them together, they form a straight line. They create a line. Think of this as a pair that makes a line. You could almost see it in the word the way we spell linear pair. Third word, vertical angles. Underline that one. Angles that are across, directly across from each other. Thank you, and thank you. <coughs> Vertical angles that are directly across from each other. I'll give you an example of this. Arrow, 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 they're lines. One, two, three, and four. Angles that are directly across from each other. The vertical angles here are like angles one, and what's across from it is angle three. So I'm going to put angle one is congruent to angle 
three. Those are vertical angles. One and three are vertical angles. And there's a second pair of vertical angles here as well. What else is uh, our vertical angles? Angle two and angle what? They are across from each other. There's a little fact about vertical angles. Whoever's next can go. Vertical angles. Vertical angles are always, always, always congruent to each other. What I think about is, is a pair of scissors. And even if we have one line like this, if I go and open or if I close, let me just use my fingers like this. It doesn't matter if I open or close them. But if I go like here, the vertical angles, the angle on top and the angle on bottom are the same as each other. If I open it up, guess what? The other side always matches it because it's made up of lines. Doesn't matter. That opposite angles are always the same as each other with vertical angles. It's kind of neat how that works. Three more words. Complementary angles. Comp. Li. Mentary angles this is the next one. Complementary angles add up to ninety degrees. An example of complementary angles for a little tiny picture over here to the side. There's that little box like this. And we have angle one and angle two. Angle one plus angle two will be complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. Right? Not, not this unit. That, that comes in unit 11. Okay. <coughs> Next word, besides complementary angles, is supplementary angles. I have to know the difference between complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. You've learned that before, though, some other time, right? So if I were to do the supplementary angles picture, I can think of a linear pair. And angle one and angle two will add up to a straight line. Supplementary angles do not have to be adjacent, though, by the way. If, you, if I tell you two angles are supplementary, then that means they add up to 180. They, do, they can be far apart from each other. They just add up to 180. The last word we are going to define before we do two practice problems is bisect. We use this word a lot in geometry. Bisect. Whenever I tell you something bisects something, bisect means cuts into two equal congruent pieces. I think of bicycle. A bicycle has two tires. I know that the word BI means two, or that prefix, I should say, means two. So if I bisect, if 
I think of a sector or part of something, I'm going to cut something into two pieces. So some of your problems are going to say, this ray bisects that angle. What does that mean? It means it cuts it into two equal pieces. Let me give you an example like number 14. Number 14 on your worksheet looks like this. Has a picture. Picture's kind of funky. And it says W, Y, Z, and X is the vertex. W, Y, Z, W, Y, Z. It's going to have something like uh, this angle here is 5x plus 3. This angle here is 7x minus 7. And ray xy bisects angle w, x, z. So when they have this problem, W, X, Y, and uh, Y, X, Z, and they tell you that X, Y bisects this angle, you have to go to this angle, W, X, Z, W, then X, then Z, and you say this angle is being cut into two equal pieces. They don't show you that in the picture. In the picture, they're not going to have anything that lets you know that these two things are congruent to each other. So if it tells you that it bisects, what you need to do or what you need to add to the picture is that, well, since this cuts into two equal pieces, you need to add this, that this angle is congruent to this angle. You're going to need to add that to your picture. And if you know that, then you know that this piece here is the same as that piece there. And you can actually solve. 5x plus 3 is the same as 7x minus 7. What is 5x plus 3 is the same as 7x minus 7? Subtract 5x. Let's see if Ray's right. Plus 7, plus 7. And so I do get that x is equal to 5. But we never stop there. Because what they're going to ask us to find is not just x. They're going to say, well, what's that angle equal to? And you're going to have to take this x and plug it back in to find whichever angle they're looking for. If I take this 5 and plug it in, 5 times 5 plus 3 is 25 plus 3. This angle here is 20 eight degrees. You will not use a protractor on worksheet five. In worksheet five, everything is not drawn to scale. Meaning, you are going to have to figure out what the angles are not with a protractor by doing this algebra. Uh, I'm not going to do number 15, but I want to start off with number 15 because it, sa it says this, and I'm going to just draw this for you. Here's 15. It starts off by saying this, QR, ray QR, bisects angle PQS. And they do not draw you a picture. It doesn't matter what problem and and this is like 15 I'm sorry 15 through 18 it's literally these problems here all the way through 15 through 18 it starts off by making a statement and it doesn't give you a picture so what you are going to have to do is to draw a picture I'm gonna write that down I'm gonna draw a picture the first thing I have to draw is angle PQS 
I'm hoping you know which one the vertex is. Which one's the vertex? Which letter? Q. Q. So when you go to draw your angle PQS, I hope you know that Q is the vertex or the V or the endpoints of those rays. Does it matter which one's P and which one's S? No. I'll put a P right here and an S right there. Now I have an angle PQS. Well, how big does it have to be? It doesn't matter. This is an abstract drawing anyways. We need a QR that bisects PQS. I need a, some other point that's going to cut this into two equal pieces. Where do you think R is? Logan, right in the middle. So I'm going to pick a spot like right here in the middle of this angle. I'm going to call it R. And then what I'll do is I'll have this QR that cuts it into two equal pieces. And then you'll be able to do these problems by punching in, by doing the same stuff you did on number 14. Okay? Does it, give you it gives you equations, different equations for each one. So I'm not going to do those with you. If you know how to draw this, you should be good to go. I'm going to stop your notes right there.